I've been making a blooper that Mars will be opposing Uranus on the 21st of November, and it's actually on the 12th coming up. So, you know, I was wondering, well, why? But if it's on the 21st, why do I? Why do we feel it already? And it's like, well, you usually do feel it from degree, third, three degree on and off. Um, but uh, so I'm just making a short video about, um, and, and it happens to be a, a new moon at that time, which is like, oh my God, it's a new moon while the, while Mars. And see, what I see is a perfect time to, to uh, if you couldn't make those changes, you have to make it now, you know. I, I have a responsibility all week this week, you do too, to, um, to jostle somebody's, rattle somebody's cage that, you know, like for me, it would, it's this, um, the officials, the um, inspector people who they gave me narcissistic abuse, they said, it was unfounded. And I have to make sure, I have to call them and say, no, I would like to, please, if I missed the phone call, which I probably did, probably right in front of your face there, I just didn't answer the phone, it was, it was just, I don't know, I was busy, so that's unfortunate, but now is the time to go in and and um, see if, if people are thinking they're going to just do a sleepwalk and keep being the problem. You want change? Now is the time to do it. It's happening anyway, if you notice. And see, this is why astrologers and astrology and some people are of some use to us every once in a while, is that they, they, they just foresight and, and they actually foreact. See, the Aries is apt to just move on a whim like that and then ask questions later, which is like, ask the right questions, you're going to see. Wow. First of all, how did you know? How did you know that? Well, we got to take care of that now, because why? Ugh, shit went on, come, come forth later on. And that's what we're kind of looking at here. Um, but for the collective, so it's, it's really interesting to see, like, well, who knows this and what's going to happen next? Now, let me put my glasses on, if I can here, and, and to communicate about the degrees of how, well, you know, I'm a super sensitive and I feel it already. I'm just having the, the sun is doing it, its job on the 7th. It's going to be squaring my, my moon and, and my Aquarius. And it's, it's fine. You know, I can handle the Scorpio. Let's bring it on. You know, you think you're, you want to know what's even more intense? It's, it's Aquarius, by the way. You know, Scorpio thinks it has its thing down. But let's, now let's, let's find out what's really going on. Let's know what's happening instead of keeping it in the dark, sex and everything, and put it in neon lights. That's what we're heading for with Aquarius. No? No! Well, we're not even on the planet yet, then. Aquarius is still hovering out in outer space, and it's like, do you think they will ever evolve as human beings? I don't know. Let's see. We need a, a little slight rewire there. They're kind of still living in the darkness about just about everything. So if, if we need to make any changes, get away from it. Now's the time, if you haven't noticed. I mean, I am ready. I'm like, God, are you kidding? And a lot of it has to do with our relationships. And really, are you making an excuse? Am I making an excuse? Yeah, no, this is tough. It's not about people, people, people. And if you're dragging people in to something that is really your responsibility, especially right now with the with where Pluto is, babes, you need to take your 40 day and 40 night. It's going to happen anyway. Whatever it is you're doing, have you noticed since the 3rd of November, a slight little quirk? Well, if you haven't, us oracles are here to tell you, indeed, yes, it has happened. Once again, and it's not ending. We are excited to be alive and it's going, we are going through a process. Hello, I stand for the Librian generation, the, the generation who was born with Pluto and Libra, Uranus and Libra, and the Libra vibration argument, argumentatively, they're kind of, they, they like their debates, and you have to, you have to get into court and say, excuse me, what fucking makes sense here? Making sense? Really, we've just been left out, you know, I was trying to, you know, it, it does correlate with our money, Scorpio and Taurus. But anyway, I'm just here to, oh, is it a short video? No, I'm going to put it up here now. I just, I was making a blooper when I say the 21st of March, when I mentioned the uh, epic Mars oppose Uranus. It's happening on the full moon, which is happening on the 12th coming up. Okay, so 
don't miss it. I mean, it's now time. Like, oh, God, you know, it's it's really, because guess what? They paid babes. We don't know. The 12th hasn't come yet. But a lot of times the collective is going to experience something. It might make the news. Something will try to make the news, you know, um, and, and get your attention. And, and if that's not already happening, of course, with um, the wars that are going on, which is just complete distraction, of course, there's something else going on. And we have to figure out what that really is. You know, is somebody losing control? Yes. Something is losing grip of control. I mean, what that really means is that we're identifying the parasite now. We are identifying the parasite. What is it? Well, thank God for me. I'm not going to get all prejudice and gender bias and or even racial. It's just mind is the parasite. Mind is the parasite. Alert, alert, alert. Something was not noticed. Something was not noticed. They gave no notice. Watch out for the mind.